So we've looked at most of what Lightroom can do. It was in its true uh, high level overview, so we didn't get into a lot of details very much, but that's not the point of this, it's just to get you started working in Lightroom if you need to. Uh, and we saw that it handles files a bit differently than Photoshop, so you have to import them. You also have to export them. So Lightroom applies these settings just like Camera Raw does in that it doesn't actually change the image file even if it's a JPEG it doesn't change the pixels it just saves the settings a list of the settings the numbers that you have changed somewhere and and that's it so to actually get these these images looking as they do in Lightroom to use somewhere and on a website to post on social media to uh, to do a design to do a, a gallery or whatever you need for print for example as well uh, you need to export the images from Lightroom uh, so to export well you have various options uh, you can go to back to the library module and select the images that you need to export and just click the export button next to the import button in the left hand panel at the bottom here or you can straight up right click an image if you need just one or select several of them by holding control or shift right click and you have export here it's and it will take you to exactly the same place you get a big window here with a few options by default you'll just want to save the images so you'll export to hard dri hard drive you can export to a specific location uh, or one of the presets here and a specific location lets you choose exactly where you can create subfolders you can then add the exports back into Lightroom as uh, into the catalog so those would be the edited images um, and if you have duplicates you can choose what to do for each of them you can skip them you can override automatically you can be asked for every file what you want to do uh, or just automatically change their names add a zero one or something to the end you can rename the files and you have all kinds of systems with the date with the file name or just custom names uh, for video obviously you get to, ch to choose a few things here then you choose what kind of file you want to export jpeg and psd will probably be the most common ones original just if you have a bunch of files that are all different formats it will keep that format wherever it can because it won't really be able to for raw files and a few settings for uh, for the type of file so if you cho cho choose different types of file you'll have different options we'll talk about these when we talk about the file types in Photoshop and I'm actually gonna go for JPEG. Um, you can resize images, so if you have edited them but need them all for a web gallery, for example, and you just need them to be a thousand pixels wide, for example, you can choose this here and never make them bigger, just make them smaller. If they're small, then just keep them the way they are you can choose long edge, short edge, stuff like this and the resolution you can sharpen for so this is um, a last sharpening pass after you've done ed everything to make the image look as it needs to look Lightroom can automatically add a passive sharpening for screen or for print for different types of paper it's it's not a very advanced feature here but it helps and you can add a lot of sharpening just a little or the regular amount so this is very common and I mentioned this when we were talking about sharpening that you do another passive sharpening for output 
most of the time but for that you need to be aware of what your output is you can remove personal information or include just some of the metadata so all of that text you linked with uh, with your image maybe not everyone needs to see that that's for your own uh, organizational purposes so when you export this and put it online you might not want those things to be in the file you can add a simple watermark or you can create watermarks here though I don't recommend that or if you do do this keep the opacity very low it doesn't as long as there's a trace of the watermark there so you can identify your uh, that it's your image it's fine it doesn't really have to be visible it but well the, there are philosophies and philosophies about this so it's your own choice and uh, then after it's done what should it do it can open up the folder and you can still you you have some presets here or you can add your own presets if you always use the same settings um, you can also export straight to email or CD or DVD these are I, I'm gonna say these are legacy uh, options there I'm not sure how many people still use them nowadays and just gonna click export and you'll see up here at the top in the upper left corner uh, Lightroom is exporting the file so this is very nice well uh, the the files that I selected two of them were missing from the disk so I got an error which is fine um, but this is nice uh, as it Lightroom takes less processing power than it would as you edit the files it still takes up quite a lot but uh, it, it takes less than it could and then at the end when you're done with like a hundred photo album or maybe more from an event or wherever uh, you can just set it to export and it does its thing for however long that takes uh, which oftentimes takes quite a lot but you have the advantage that you can for example leave it overnight uh, Lightroom can use multiple processor cores it can use uh, GPU uh, acceleration so basically use your video card but it's still after years and years of development performance wise it's quite a hog it, um, they're working on it and newer versions are surprisingly better than older versions uh, but it, it takes up a lot of time or processing power or both to really do the export and even working in Lightroom oftentimes okay so this is basically Lightroom. We've looked at Lightroom Classic. I'm gonna have a quick glance for you at Lightroom Modern and Lightroom Web, but if you've gone through all of these, you should be able to satisfactorily do a workflow editing photos in Lightroom with no issues. There are all kinds of other options here in the in the menu but it's actually not that much most of them are visible in the interface and those that aren't are hidden there for a reason they're they're not very common so this is it if you're curious about Lightroom modern what's just called Lightroom now uh, come back in the next video otherwise this is Lightroom <laughs>